What is happening, everybody? Welcome back to the program. Welcome back to the show. So today I'm covering an interview with the wonderfully humble and bright young star from Norway known as Angelina Jordan. You might know of her. And this is the pre-show interview from America's Got Talent, The Champions 2020. Shout out to Rusty Shackleford for the uh, recommendation, the link. It's even on your channel. So uh, that link will be in the description. But let's jump right into this and see what we get with this interview. Three, two, one. Let's go. As always, any recommendations or requests, you can leave them in the comments section as well. Make sure to like and subscribe for more videos. So let's get into this. Angelina Jordan pre-show interview. America's Got Talent, 2020. That's the show with Simon, Simon Cow. I remember him most fondly as uh, the animated Simon from Shrek. I'm not super knowledgeable about Simon Cow, so I just remember him from Shrek. And uh, yeah, so let's check this out. Okay, Angelina. So you are the winner of Norway's Got Talent, yes. and you seven. were seven years old. When seven you years old. Can you tell us what that moment was like? It was amazing. It was like my dream come true. Because mm -hmm. I always wanted to sing on the stage for all the people in the world, and I won the show, and it was so amazing. And your clips went viral on YouTube, so people like all over the world were seeing you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All around the world. Yes, this is true. She speaks English so well. And, and apparently she speaks Farsi as well. Very talented. Viral on YouTube, so people like all over the world were seeing you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And in the years since, what uh, what have you been up to? Like you've been- Writing books. I know you I, published a book. I've tried, uh, yes. Singing. So I published a book music. Uh, when I was nine years old and it's about why I'm barefoot on the stage. Um, it's about um, when I was six years old. Do you, you want to hear the story? Oh, yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, okay. So when I was. Uh, oh, man. That's so endearing. Do, do, do you want to hear the story? Like, oh. <laughs> that, was, that was wonderful. Wonderful little moment in the interview. Stage. Um, it's about um, when I was six years old. Do you, you want to hear the story? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, okay. So when I was um, around like six, I was outside with my mom and my grandma. And then we were walking by the street. And then I saw a girl around like my age. And she had a waiting skill. And when she was sitting on the ground, she got money by like waiting people. Mm. And that was like kind of her job. Um, and so I, I had to talk to her because she was so little and she was waiting people. It's interesting hearing the story in English, but, um, most people don't want to be weighed. That's the sort of perfect, the strange thing with that little girl weighing people on the street. Um, typically you ask somebody of their weight, they don't want to tell you. It reminds me of an episode of Curb Your Enthusiasm where Larry David the protagonist of the show uh, has to get everybody's weights to um, give to the pilot as they were going to be taking a charter flight. So they have to have the proper weights for the center of gravity of the aircraft. So he asks everybody their weights. And of course, nobody wishes to give him their weights out of, um, you know, they want privacy or whatever it may be. They just feel that's an invasion of their uh, privacy to give them their weights. So I wonder where, and, and yeah, so just a little anecdote from my personal. Continue, Angelina. I'm not talking over her, at least. Money by, like, waiting people. Mm. And that was, like, kind of her job. Um, and so I, I had to talk to her because she was so little and she was waiting people. And so we talked to each other and we became like friends. And so I gave my shoes to, shoes to her cause she was barefoot and she had scars on her feet and it was really cold. And so I give it to her and she's like, no, you don't have to give it to me. It's yours and then you don't have shoes. And I said, no, you have to have the shoes. And um, she's like, 
when she uh, has it on, she's like, oh, they're so nice. Mm. <laughs> and so I um, tell her, what do you want to be when you're big? And she says, I, I want to be a doctor. But I can't because um, my parents, they passed away. and I have siblings. And then she told me, what do you want to be when you're big? And I said, I want to be a superstar and sing for the whole world. And she says that I'm going to pray for you. Mm. And that's why whenever I sing on the stage, I always remind about all the children that don't have any parents and clothes and shoes. And wow. wow. That's such an important story. Yes. Uh, and now that you are here in America on, on the Champions show, what, what is that feeling like to you to get the call to come back and perform? That is a very impressive story, and especially that moment she added about just thinking about all of the children out there that don't have those uh, parents or mentors or familial support networks and how grateful we should be and how compassionate we should be to people uh, to try and help them improve their lives or, you know, just try and be mindful of such things in the world and try to be kinder because there's a lot of there's a lot of uh, hateful rhetoric and just blind um, sort of grouping of people into these subcategories and then everybody's this and everybody's that instead of just looking at people as uh, the beautiful individuals that they are we instead make these preconceptions about them you should judge somebody by how they treat you, how they hold themselves, and uh, how they conduct themselves, not by um, uncontrollable factors um, in terms of how they were born, things that they couldn't control. Uh, yeah, anyways. Angelina, so humble and uh, just so sweet. Uh, and now that you are here in America on on the Champions show, what what is that feeling like to you to get the call to come back and perform in front of a whole different audience? Feels really amazing because um, I get to sing for Simon for the first time because <laughs> since I was like Simon Cowell. so little, like three years old, I really wanted to sing for him, and mm. like, finally after ten years, I'm here. <laughs> Have you ever met him yet? Oh, I've never. No. Would you be scared to meet him or? No, kind I'm of really excited. excited. Yes. Yeah. Um, so if you happen to win, what would that mean to you? What would that feeling that, you know, the American audience has also embraced you mean? Um, well, if I win the show, I definitely stay humble and mm -hmm. do a lot of hard work and sing more and more. Yeah. When they asked you to come back, did you say yes right away, or did you have to think about it? Um, I had to think about it, but yeah, I said yes. Yeah. Well, we're glad you came back. Is there anything you can tell us about your performance? Um, I'm going to, it's like a secret about the song, mm -hmm. but the song means a lot to me, and it's about that it's like the hope, the fear in your life, and the hope about the fear is that you're going to lose somebody um, in your life, and but still you have hope, and it's, I love that song. It always reminds me about my grandpa that passed away about a year and a half ago, and I wish he would be here and he would hear me perform and I could just Hug him for just one second. Mm. <laughs> Man, got me tearing up over here. Um, yeah, it was beautiful. I do remember the one song Angelina performed. Uh, it was one of our, uh, her covers, and she dedicated it to her grandpa. That was definitely an emotional one. You could see it on her face and her performance. Um, just that real like love coming through. That um, and really embracing the memories of her grandfather keeping that alive and just doing that tribute song to him was just beautiful but man another great interview so humble and uh just well spoken and uh passionate and really come on the story about the shoes uh 
and just kind of a selflessness and doing even a little small thing like that, giving the shoes to this this young girl that was a similar age and then remembering that and keeping that and then passing that story on and hopefully inspiring others, right? And then continuing with her music to inspire. So fantastic, man. Shout outs to all of you. Thank you for watching. We'll see you very soon. And uh, yeah, see you in the next one. Peace out. Take care of yourselves. Bye-bye.